Now, as citizens uh, gathered together to help out each other, social media has been flooded with aid for Chennai. My colleague Ashwarya Paliwal is standing by uh, with details of how social media has become a bridge connecting Chennai to India. In fact, she's sitting. Ashwarya, tell us, uh, how has social media turned into a sort of a vital lifeline uh, you know, in this uh, disastrous situation in Chennai? Krishna, you are right. Social media is actually an extremely, extremely point right now. So if you go to Google's page, you know, you'll see at the bottom of it, they have something called resources for Chennai flood. Now, once you click on it, they have they have a page and on that page, they have collected everything that every Chennai height would read right, right now. They have uh, names and they have uh, websites which would connect you to people who can help you get relief fund. They have emergency numbers. So anyone sitting outside Chennai can also speak to those people and get to know about people who are stuck inside Chennai. Google map has also done an extremely important thing. If you go on Google map right now, you know, they are showing areas and they are showing streets which are extremely flooded. They are also showing you areas which are in which water is receding. So, you know, for people out, out here, people like us, you know, who don't know exactly what is happening in Chennai, this map is, is a very good idea to gauge whether, you know, your loved ones, the areas in which they are, are still flooded or is the water receding. Then we talk about Facebook, Facebook has now activated its safety check feature. Now in this feature, if, if by chance you get connectivity in Chennai, you can tag yourself saying safe. When you say safe, that means you are safe from the flood that, that took place two days back. When we talk about Twitter, Twitter really, really came handy because their hashtags Chennai Rains and hashtag Chennai Rain Relief Flood 2015 are the ones who are connecting people who are in dire need of aid. They are connecting them with those people who are providing aid out there. So right now, there is no denial that, you know, social media is actually a lifeline for all those stuck in Chennai out there. Absolutely, Ashwarya. My Facebook page and my Twitter feed has been flooded with the people marking themselves safe, uh, you know, or asking for help. Uh, so it's visible uh, the kind of uh, help that uh, social media is bringing about uh, to the citizens of Chennai. But uh, it's not just social media. Startups too are doing their bit and aid agencies have also started preparing for the aftermath of the flood. So if you want to help Chennai, listen in. Ruchi Deshpande has all the details on that front. Ruchi, thank you so much for being with us. Tell us, uh, bring us up to speed on how can those of us watching this help. Well, apart from the government, the army and the navy who are doing their utmost to get uh, citizens stranded in Chennai, uh, a couple of startups have also uh, sprung to the task and they are also helping uh, what they can to get these citizens out of uh, the flooded city. First off, we spoke to one of the major NGOs in the country, Goonj, who told us that their pan-India campaign of providing uh, relief materials is on since last night and their collection drive for getting the most important uh, relief and rescue materials to Chennai has been going Going on. So if uh, you are seated in anywhere else but Chennai, you can contribute to their centers uh, in uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore as uh, well as Hyderabad and Rishikesh. Uh, they will make two trips to Chennai depending on the accessibility to the road. Moving on, uh, uh, we have also a list of the things that Goons told us that, uh, that are needed in Chennai. This includes plastic mats, tarpaulin, candles, matches, ropes, uh, dry ration and, uh, and uh, everything else. Moving on, Uber has uh, also joined hands uh, with a food food bank in the dry regions of Chennai to make available food packets, portable water and other necessities to those uh, who are in makeshift shelters in Chennai. Now remember that this is the second transport company after Ola who had partnered uh, with, a motor, uh, with, a, with a boat service in Chennai to ferry people in uh, the water ridden city. Moving on, uh, if you are sitting uh, elsewhere in India and wish to help, uh, the, uh, especially for, the, uh, for our viewers in Bangalore, there is an organization called uh, Bangalore for Chennai who are trying to make available power banks uh, to those uh, stranded in Chennai whose phone is now without charge. Uh, if you want to help, you can reach out to their center in Indranagar, purchase the power banks or, and either get it delivered to their uh, place in Indranagar or you can drop it directly. And they will make trips to Chennai in the next two days to get these power banks uh, across to the people. Lastly, uh, World Vision, which is another major NGO, has put up uh, the list of vital items that are needed uh, to rescue the, uh, rescue the people in Chennai and you can go and donate directly. Uh, and so these are just the few things uh, that you can do sitting at home to help help uh, those stranded in Chennai. Thank you so much uh, for uh, bringing that uh, report to us, uh, Ruchi, and for those of, uh, of you who are watching us. Now, keep in mind, the local government in Chennai has put out uh, these numbers that are going to appear on your screens to contact in case of uh, emergencies. Uh, those numbers are on your screens as we speak. Uh, please make a note of them and uh, pass it on uh, to those uh, in these dire times of need.